up in Greenwood, South Carolina. I've been a diehard Clemson fan since birth. Playing at Clemson was naturally what my heart always wanted. And from 2003, 2006, I got to live that dream, to run down the hill, to wear the paw on my helmet, and to play for the Clemson Tigers. My name's Jad Dean, and for 24 years of my life, I was believing a lie. I was raised by a Christian family. I was in church every Wednesday and Sunday, and was always told everything we had was given by God. I knew that my kicking ability was given to me from God. And therefore, I thought that God would want me to use that ability to worship Him. But after a while, when pride got in the way, it almost became I was using God to worship football. My moral activity, my behavior, it was varied from season to season. In the off-season, it was kind of do what I want. There weren't football games on Saturday. But come football season, I was at FCA on Thursday. I was in church on Sunday. I was trying to put a collar around God, put him in a corner to where, you know, all right, God, I'm, I'm acting this way. You have to bless me. I was using God's laws, but I wasn't using them for his glory. I was using it so he would bless me with the desires of my heart. My first three years at Clemson, I honestly couldn't have asked for much more. My football was going great, so therefore my life was good. My view of God was good. My junior year, began the season with the best game I've ever had in my life in any sport. Texas A&M, it's a game I remember for my whole life. Ended up, you know, being a runner-up for the Lou Groves Award. One of the top three place kickers in college football. I had agents calling me, telling me, all right, you know, you can go this way in the draft, you can go right there in the draft. You know, I didn't just want to be good, I wanted to be great. I had everything my heart desired at Clemson, but I still wanted more. My heart had become so hardened by the previous blessings and not being faithful with it, I thought I needed some more. So I came back. My senior year started out, and there was a few rough spots in there. So I changed my rituals up. I tried to figure out what my God equation was, what I needed to do to get God back on my side so where he started blessing me again. Because I was not only a player, I was a fan. The South Carolina game meant more to me, to my heart, than any other game of the year. I went into that game thinking that, all right, this is my last game in Death Valley. This is a rival. This is a perfect way to end it. You know, I thought God was gonna let me go out, let me go out on a bang. He was gonna send me off on a white horse. The moment that kick sailed to the left was the moment God began breaking all the previous pride and self-centeredness I had been building up in my life from the day I started playing football. Chasing my heart and seeing all my heart's desires turn to dust right in my hands, I ended up back in Greenville, playing for an arena team there. We were down in Florence, had probably the worst game of my career overall. And on the way home that night, I started to openly question God. For the first time in my life, prayed that God show me. I was like, God, you know, I feel like football is too important. Sideline with the back injury and at home, thinking about my pains and my struggles and what I needed. I was asked to work at FCA camp and have nothing else to do. I said, sure, why not? What God began to show me at this camp was that his desire for me wasn't just not to play football, it wasn't to play football. His desire from day one, and which is the whole reason he allowed the wide left to happen, was another reason for my salvation for me putting God first in my life and not putting football first, and giving God second or third or maybe even fourth sometimes. I was too busy chasing my heart to see that Jesus didn't want to take my heart. All he wanted to do was give me his, which is a much greater love than I can ever imagine. God has opened my eyes to the fact that of all the kicks I might have made at Clemson in my mind, the only kick I made in God's mind was to the left. I wasn't even searching for Jesus. Wasn't even really praying for Jesus. And he blinded me with his light. Jesus saved me. I didn't save me. Jesus saved me.